Hey guys, what's up? Jason's here. Today, we're going to show you how to integrate two or more remote test series PVX to realize interactions between every two distance offices. If you have branch offices located on different sides with S series PVX deployed, you can try the integration method and connect all of your telephony systems. The logic to integrate S series PVX is SIP trunking which literally speaking is making sure both devices are accessible to each other and creating one trunk on each facility. Then, what we're going to do is just configuring inbound and outbound roads for the call making. Alright, enough talk. Let's jump in and check it out. Take an example. PBXA and PBXB have been deployed in two offices. Here's the topology. On each side, the router is configured with a static public IP address. On PBXA, all extensions are three-digit numbers starting with number 5, while on PBXB, there are three digits starting with number 6. To make extensions on each PBX be able to call each other directly, their number ranges are supposed to be different. Now, let's start the configuration. Since two devices are deployed respectively in two offices, and each side is equipped with a static IP, we need to map SIP ports on the router of each side in advance to make two facilities reachable. By default, the following ports are required UDP port 5060 and UDP port 10000 to 12000. Once the network settings on both sides are finished, we can move on to the PBX. We're supposed to create a peer trunk on each PBX and establish the remote connection. Lock in PBX A, add one peer trunk. Enter PBX B static public IP here. Save all configurations and check the registry status of the trunk in the PBX monitor. Once the icon turns green, it means the trunk has been registered to PBX B successfully. On PBXB, we're supposed to do the same operations. Lock in, create one peer trunk to access PBXA, and then check the registration status. Now, both Azure's PBXs have been connected by peer trunks. We're gonna road cost between these two PBX. On PBXA, create an outbound road to road cost L2 PBXB. In Dell pattern, Set 6 double X matching PBXB's extensions. Choosing the peer trunk we've created and all internal extensions. Save and apply the configurations. So whenever a user of PBXA dials a three-digit number starting with number 6, the outgoing call will be sent to PBXB. Usually on PBXB, we're supposed to send inbound routes to direct incoming calls from PBXA. But it's a special case in the configuration. It's not necessary. Because when calls from PBXA reaches PBXB, PBXB will automatically search for the destination extension and establish the call. Now, we can make calls from PBXA to PBXB's all internal extensions. Next step, road calls from PBXB to PBXA following the same operations. Add an outbound road, set a dial pattern matching PBXA's extensions. Choose the peer trunk and all extensions. Now, extensions on both sides can call each other directly. Right, that was all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have two offices equipped with Azure PBX and you want to have a free call between them, well, just try SIP trunking now. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.